Continuing coverage, applications for the new Parental Choice Tax Credit program became available Wednesday after some delay. We have a look right here at the parentalchoice.gov website where applications can be submitted. Governor Kevin Stead and an avid supporter of the program announced last night the Oklahoma Tax Commission received more than 30,000 applications within the first 90 minutes, calling it the most transformative change to Oklahoma's education system in decades. And proponents argue it promotes school choice, but as to News Oklahoma's Douglas Braff explains, the program has proved controversial for a number of reasons. Douglas, what are the main criticisms here? Corey, Justin, some of the major gripes opponents have are paying nearly $4 million in tax dollars to a private company to run the program and that participating schools could use this as an excuse to raise tuition costs. But as Democratic Representative John Waldron has told 2 News previously, there's another big concern they have. Most of the families who send their kids to private schools are affluent to begin with. And do they really need uh, these big checks from the government? I don't think so. Those who supported the legislation creating the program, even they've expressed concerns that this sounds like a voucher in practice. That's what Republican Representative Cody Maynard told us back in October. Vouchers, they pull money away from public schools. So one of the reasons I could support a tax credit is it does not do that. It doesn't reduce any of our public school funding. But when we're looking at the rules that have been promulgated, it looks a lot like they pulled uh, some of the wording and rules from like the Lindsay Nicole Henry scholarship, which is a voucher style system in the state. And honestly, that starts to put a lot of reporting burdens on schools and it does things that we never really intended with a tax credit. Well, Senate President Pro Tempore Greg Treat defended the program and its rollout to me last week before that delay. He admitted that some kinks will need to be ironed out and Oklahomans could see more legislation regarding school choice credits during the next legislative session. Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma. Douglas.